Thank you, Madam Chair and committee colleagues. For the record, my name is Tim Canope, State Senator from District 27, representing the Central Oregon communities of Bend, Redmond, Sun River, and Tumalo. And Madam Chair, thank you for having a public hearing on this important issue. Already this session has created tremendous tension over looming budget shortfalls. And being good stewards of Oregon taxpayer resources <coughs> requires us to make tough choices. And while many of these policy choices can regress into partisan arguments, few have the bipartisan appeal of fighting fraud. Being vigilant against those that would game and cheat the state of Oregon is a policy area that I take very personally, and that's why I'm before you today. Senate Bill 753 is an effort to bring the latest in fraud fighting technology to the state of Oregon. It's about prevention and detection. And if you haven't seen it, uh, I would encourage you to take a look at the Office of Payment Accuracy and Recovery, the OPAR report. Um, the state of Oregon is doing some good things as it relates to uh, this area. And what my bill suggests is that we uh, go kind of move uh, more quickly from a pay and chase model to a preventative model. Mm -hmm. The federal government estimates that Medicaid uh, programs pay around $18 billion a year, an average of $360 million per year that's attributed to fraud, waste, and abuse, taxpayer money that could be used for other helpful purposes. To combat this problem, this legislation would implement uh, modern fraud screening and prevention solutions to detect fraud and abuse prior to Medicaid claims being paid. Common practice is to pay claims as they come in and later attempt to recover the claims that are found to be fraudulent. Over the last two years, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, CMS, has implemented powerful new anti-fraud tools designed and implemented as a large-scale innovative uh, improvements to our Medicare program uh, and its integrity. And it's really trying to shift from a pay and chase model approach to preventing fraud before it happens, reducing both improper payments and the cost and time involved in traditional pay and chase recovery. Just last year, the state of Washington overwhelmingly passed its bill to apply this fraud fighting technology to uh, the state's Medicaid uh, program. Oregon needs to join Washington State as a leader in fighting and preventing Medicaid fraud. Obviously, part of the reason uh, to do this is other states move in that direction. Uh, the folks who would like to uh, perpetrate this fraud tend to find homes, and we prefer one of those homes is not in Oregon. Implementing strong preventative controls can help uh, defend against improper payments, increasing public confidence, and avoiding the difficult pay and chase aspects of recovering improper payments. With Medicaid fraud becoming increasingly more complex, it's critical that Oregon updates and improves its policies to remain vigilant. Senate Bill 753 adds technologies necessary to assure the long, uh, a long solvency of Medicaid, ensuring that these critical programs will be available for those who truly need the help. As I discussed earlier, being vigilant on fraud isn't a partisan issue. Uh, with the encouraging early results of CMS transition towards stronger preventative measures, Similar legislation to ours is being introduced in 37 states this year. I'm happy to say that this bill is no different. I'm honored to have the support of uh, our good vice chair and Dr. Bates uh, to show their bipartisan support for this important legislation, and I would be honored if you would join me as well. It's time to bring the latest in fraud fighting technology to the state of Oregon, and I thank you for your time.